this at the renowned English biologist Charles Darwin, and this at the Chinese musician Jay Cho. But today, our story is about them. Darwin wrote some incredible masterpieces, such as on the range of species and the variation of animals, in which he mentioned a couple of times about the mysterious ancient Chinese encyclopedia. Due to some objective reasons like translation, transportation, printing, and lack of cultural exchanges, Darwin didn't actually read this encyclopedia. But many information has led to the conclusion that Darwin was referring to Ben Cao Gao Mu, or the Compendium of Materia Medica in China's Ming Dynasty. Meanwhile, its composer, herbalist and pharmacologist Li Shizhen, is renowned by the folks in China as a sacred physician for this 27-year work. In 2011, UNESCO has registered Ben Cao Gao Mu into the memory of the world, indicating the ancient Chinese medical literature being firstly recognized by the world. To this day, Ben Cao Gao Mu is still one of the essential classics in the field of traditional Chinese medicine. Jay Cho, who has once been to Hollywood because of the movie Great Hornet, has made over $229 million back then. Jay has created many training songs throughout his career. One of them went viral in 2009 and was later performed on the Spring Festival Gala, or you could temper it as the Super Bowl time of China. Something that Jay could turn anything into a song, including this medical classic. The lyric writer once said that the inspiration came from Lu Xun's love, the herb. He's just like Martin Luther King and he conveys the idea of criticizing the rule of feudalism and enlightening the mass through words. In the lyrics, Jay has mentioned a lot about the Chinese herbal medicines. Sixteen kinds of herbal medicines were mentioned in the song. Ma Qianzi, Jue Mingzi, Tang Erzi, Lianzi, you name it. Jue Mingzi, or Sikopod, for instance. If you have a hard time in the toilet trying to take a dump, drinking Jue Mingzi in hot water is definitely a good recommendation. Lianzi, or Lala seed, tastes kind of sweet and astringent. You could boil it thoroughly and eat it to meditate your sleeping problem. <laughs> Thus, farewell to melatonin. Goji berries. Just soak them in hot water and drink them. It's good for alleviating fatigues and sore backs. Yunnan white drug, a kind of traditional Chinese medicine famously marketed now in China. Li Shizhen once remarked that it wouldn't exchange it for gold, showing its preciousness. It's good for bruises and numbs. TikTok, come on and try something at your nearest Chinese supermarket. You will come back because you owe me a thank you. <laughs>